last season was a pretty interesting season for me really. I'd spent a long, long time trying to achieve, you know, getting to go to the Olympic Games and then to win a medal. And it was, it was quite strange once I'd, I'd achieved that in 2008 and to come back for 2009, I, I really wanted a, a fresh challenge and for that I took up C2. I asked my partner Richard Hounslow to, to start competing in that with me and really it was quite new to be trying to compete at two of two categories at every event and on the whole it went it went pretty well I, it probably didn't go as well as I'd hoped I really hoped to win a medal at the world championships but fifth is actually my best equal ever result of the world championships and to, to have won the world cup was a, a massive success for me and also to have, to have won a medal in the C2 so early on was really encouraging for both of us I think obviously it would depend on the individual but for me, having won my, my Olympic medal, it definitely was a real shift in motivation. All I concentrated on up until that point was trying to win an Olympic medal. And when I'd done it, yeah, I definitely thought, oh, what next? And, you know, contemplated even maybe maybe I'm done for canoeing. But uh, after a bit of a break and a bit of a thought, I, I had this idea of taking up C2 as well. And that really excited me and motivated me to, to train again. And it was just something new. Yeah. It's I find it hard to to set an, an aim each year really as we go. Obviously for me at the minute the big aim is looking towards London 2012 but really I just want to keep on pushing hard and try and get, get into those finals and uh, and battle for the, the top spots really. Yeah. Um, the season will obviously be building towards Tassin at the World Championships, that's my, my biggest aim as a race certainly and um, yeah it'll be interesting. This last year was just learning how to compete in, in two categories and now that we feel we actually have a bit of experience at it I think hopefully we'll be able to build on that. The things that we've been been having to learn really this year and competing in, in two disciplines are that on a race day you might have a bad race in, in one and you've got to then pick yourself up to compete in the other in a final which might be you know half an hour later and that's quite a challenge but it, it comes in training as well just learning to separate that they are two two different events and it doesn't matter what happens in one you've got to to move on sometimes and just start focusing on the next one yeah it's uh so that's mentally and, and physically physically right. obviously the simplest thing is we only have about half the time now to devote to to each of our uh, classes but uh i think there's a lot of crossover in the training you know there's a lot of it is just good white water skill learning courses and being being physically strong and fit uh, the difficult side is that technically they are a bit different in the real, the real fine technique, and um, it's just trying to trying to come into every session fresh and make the most of every session. And also, we've had to up the amount of training we've been doing a bit as well. It's really exciting to have a, a home Olympic Games coming up, as, especially with having having won a medal at the previous games, and I have a, a little a bit of a profile within the UK and. Um, to be one of the, the meddling athletes from the previous games coming with the home games coming up is, is really exciting for I think probably for all the sports but you know for canoe slalom we have a new slalom course getting built in London and um, yeah it's going to be going to be a bit more attention in the build up I think there definitely there will be a lot more expectation upon um, British athletes who who um, are competing in London 2012 but um, I think the biggest pressure that most people are there to to do it for themselves, and the biggest pressure will be uh, will be just performing the way that you want to, and and managing other people's expectations. Although hard, it it shouldn't affect shouldn't affect you.